Now, this is pretty nihilistic, um, and we've been talking about different kinds of philosophies, so we'll just briefly talk about nihilism. Uh, nihilism is the belief in an absence of meaning in the world. Um, nihilists aren't the only people that believe this. Um, a lot of philosophies or different kind of perspectives uh, would say that um, there's no ultimate meaning in the world. So there's no there's no right answer at the end of the gate. Most people who reject religion and reject you know some kind of standardized way of living or some kind of set rules by which people should live their lives and, and receive judgment on the other hand from on the other end from a supernatural being uh, you know are sympathetic to this idea that there is no ultimate purpose at the end there's no right answer necessarily there's no punishment for getting it wrong there's no reward for getting it right but what nihilism suggests is that there truly is nothing that has any meaning in it and and real hardcore nihilists would go uh, into everyday things like relationships and friendships and, and cups of coffee and things that are pretty hard, I would say, to, to, uh, to live in. Um, because every time I, I drink coffee in the morning, I think uh, this is incredibly meaningful and I, I like it and I want to do it all the time. Just the first sip and then I throw the rest of the cup, out, uh, the rest of the, uh, cup out. For a, a nihilist, uh, they're faced with the absurdity of the world um, and uh, that absurdity is, is overcoming and doesn't produce an opportunity to then build something on top of it. It creates a space perhaps for a very dark joke uh, where existence again is, is agony and suffering without any kind of undergirding meaning at the end. It's important to recognize that Macbeth is coming to this place uh, as a result of a, a realization of how far he's fallen um, of his own deterioration. Uh, I feel like that spelled right. I felt a little risky spelling it as I started. Um, we've been talking about the deterioration of his mind and his marriage. Now, at this point, he seems he doesn't seem insane. In fact, he seems more sane in some ways. His ability to recognize that he is sucked full of horrors, that he doing this kind of self-evaluation is realizing now um, I, he's made bad decisions, he's chosen wrong, and now he's kind of shut off from this. He's in a place of real callous, and he's in a place where he's really numb. Um, and it's this place that, uh, that Shakespeare leaves him at his most philosophical. Uh, so this is really the last time that we'll see Macbeth alone on the stage uh, as, the, as, the, as the play now kind of picks up towards uh, its, uh, its action-packed conclusion. Um, to leave Macbeth here, again, it's worth asking, like we did with Lady Macbeth, do we experience sympathy for this man? Sympathy for the deadness that he feels, sympathy uh, for the fact that he achieved everything he wanted to achieve. He became the king and he did it at tremendous cost. And now at the end of it, he says, all this that I did was nothing. And my life is just a candle being blown out. And there's no purpose in any of the stuff that I did. Um, is that, a, is that a, a line that we sympathize with? Or are we so uh, caught up on all this determinism stuff uh, that we would say, hey, this is exactly what it is. We're just cells in a random configuration that through some fluke have arrived at life. That life is something that feels like it has choice and purpose but in fact it doesn't, and so we're just along for the ride. Hopefully it's not all that bumpy until, like Macbeth, we arrive at a place where we say, out, out. Now that's depressing, and this is a depressing play. It's a depressing play because we're following the actions of a serial killer. We're following somebody who has done awful things. Macbeth's uh, heroism is not based on his action or his belief. Um, if there's any argument for Macbeth's heroism, uh, it's in some other stuff, and, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. All right, that's uh, that's Macbeth here at the end of the play.